number two you will tell yourself if my father don't know that i went to uh, or i travel i will go back since last saturday i am not around next saturday i must be around now what are you doing you are creating the ground of ownership are you understanding what i'm saying so the the son came to himself when he came to himself he made a decision and said ah what if i am the man of god what if i am the father and my son left home how will i behave and he said mm, let me go back because in my father's house the least is eating three square meal the little is riding a car the smallest is leading praise and worship the smallest is leading opening prayer let me go back let me go back at least if i go back maybe even to be a sanctuary keeper maybe to be to be part of the choir maybe to be part of the praise team i will surely go back to my father how many of you are connected how many of you are connected how do you connect number one come to yourself tell your neighbor come to yourself oh they are not talking inside they have another preacher inside. say come to yourself sit down when he came to himself he said in my father's house there are many people that are having what they don't deserve so let me go i am not going now as a son i want to go to start afresh i will start from making a service because the word servant came from the word service that means jesus was giving them an example of starting small to become big and how do you become big jesus said to him who will become a head among you must first become a servant Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? So when the prodigal son made up his mind, he said, okay, now, my father don't know where I am coming to or coming from, but I know where my father lives. I know our country. I know our state. I know it is around Dambua Road. I know when I come around the NNPC, I know the man. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Can I explain? The guy said, my father don't know my state of origin, where I am living. But I know the state of my origin. The state of my origin is where my father is. Let me go back. If I go back, what I only want to start from. I don't want to start as a pastor. I don't want to start as a director. I don't want to start as a manager. I want to start as a boy. And when he came to his father, he first said, daddy. I am not worthy that you be my daddy. Yes, I am not even having the boldness and the confidence to say you are my father. But I only have confidence of one thing. You are a righteous father. You don't judge by what is done. You judge by the heart that presents itself. Yes, and the young guy prostrate on the ground. Yes, I will arise and go to my father. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will arise and go to my father not our father not their father not we no he's my father i need my father not our father do you see the wisdom of the prodigal son how did he start he started by praising the father oh my father doesn't have fault i know my father doesn't have fault it's just me that just left but my father will be there ladies and gentlemen let me explain to you all leaders here listen to me Everybody can leave this place, but I cannot leave this place. There is a voice made for someone in the desert. Of which you are one of them that this voice was created. You are a beneficiary of this anointing. And if you are doing, let me hear your loudest amen. Amen. Because it's only a son that will tell you the event he will come in contact with you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I am no more worthy to be called son. That means I am not coming in a son level. I will now come as a servant. Make me as one of their hired servants. Now, everything I will do, 
it is based on hiring. He said, he came to himself and said, this time around, I will go to my father. Not our father. Say, I will go to my father. Lift your right hand and say, my father, my father. Father, my father. The horses and the chariot thereof. Let me receive my impartation. Let me receive my impartation. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at it now. Verse 20. Look at what the father. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great away far. Jesus. I will do this one in overflow. He was aware that nobody knew he was coming. But because the father was a prophet. Read it. You will see the prophetic action. His father saw him. How can you be away but your father is seeing you? It's because the very day you decide to come, that was the reason why you saw me in your dream. Jesus. That was the reason why you begin to see me appearing in your dream. You begin to see yourself coming here. Because while you are yet far away, and he forgive him, he have not seen him, but he said, my son, you have not seen against me. He had compassion on him. Because while he was coming, he was not coming with the money he left. He was not coming with the shoe he left. He was not coming with the cloth he left. But now look at what is going to happen. And he fell on the neck of the son. The son was to kneel down. But he said, don't kneel down. He held the son. Oh. That God is about to embrace somebody again. He held him on the neck. And the Bible says, and he kissed him. That means he greeted him. Who is supposed to greet somebody? But he greeted the son. Why was he greeting the son? The son has finally come to himself. And when you are back to yourself, it means you are back to your father. Because the DNA is this. At we are, we are, we are. Okay, okay, here, here. Thank God. Majority of you that are here, you are parents. You know what it means when your daughter or your son travel to another city. And you even know the city that your son traveled to. But you are calling them time without number. How are you doing? What is happening there is because of love. So the Bible says, immediately he saw the son. When he walked the son, the son was trying to say, I'm sorry. He said, no sorry here. You are back. My father, my father. Since now you are back, the Bible says, after he have hugged the son. Can I have the scripture please displayed? Let's see something. And the son, let's read it together. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Let's go to 22. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe and put it on. And put and shoes in his feet. I see a fine shoe. Fine shoe. I see a fine shoe. I receive. I see a fine robe. Oh, yes. I see a fine wedding ring. Oh, yes. The father didn't say, I have forgiven you. He said, bring, he said, we don't need to talk forgiveness. We just need to talk the next level. We don't need to talk why you left here. We don't need to talk the reason why you left. Oh, yes. We just need to talk the reason where you are going to. Oh, yes. That is the spirit of your father. A father doesn't talk about your sin. He talk about your future. The young man was busy saying, I am a sinner. I have sinned against heaven and earth. He said, I don't know that one. You are back. All I was waiting for is your arrival, not your sin. The very day you came to yourself, your sin has been forgiven. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that place. It's like I must be there. Immediately he came to himself. The decision was also made in heaven. That you should have a fine shoe, fine ring, fine watch. Fine shoe, 
Find everything. Oh, yes. Everything. Find, find. Oh, yes. The nightmare ended that very night. He made a decision. Preach it on. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. When your father has accepted you, he doesn't discuss your sin. Oh, yes. He only looks for the way forward. Oh, yes. When the prodigal son came, the next thing was a discussion of the future. What is the discussion of the future? In those days, only prince wore rings. L linen, the linen he wore is only people who are from executive families. So that means the father began to prophesy to him, you are a good person. You don't need to wear a rag. Yes. When you left here, what was in my mind? What, was, what were you wearing? What type of ring was on your hand? What type of shoe was on your feet? Oh, yes. And that is why the father began to attend to what he has been thinking was wrong with the guy. That is why when you are not around My father, my father, preach it on Listen, listen now That is why when you do not come to service What bother me, where are you now? Are you listening to a message? Have yes. you gone for your program? Who yes. is preaching to you by that time? Who is encouraging you? Who is building your faith? The father was worried who is giving the child food? Who is giving him ring? Who is giving him shoe? But the very day he saw the son, he said, okay, put shoe on him. Put the ring on him. Put oh, yes. white cloth on him. Oh. And let's go home. Let's go inside. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. What is what is Amara? Amara? Huh? Amarachi. Amara, your name is Amarachi. Amarachi, your name. Amarachi. So the spirit of God was able to energize me because of the joy that you are, because of the clapping, the prophecy begin to like. Oh yes! The pioneer of the modern day prophetic move. Professor! Oh, oh, oh. Praise on! My father, my father! And finally, oh, yes. and finally, when the shoe was put on, the ring was put on, the cloth was put on, the father said, it's now month of June. The father said, now it is declared month of June. Let's go together. For his son was dead and now is alive again. Do you know the meaning of dancing? You dance when somebody is resurrected. Let's go. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Preach it on. Let's go. And now his elder son was in the field. He had music, music, music. I go follow you, they go follow you. The guy said, what is happening in the house? Like, follow me, dear God. All I am trying to do, I'm trying to bring you to month of June. Yes, sir. It's your month. Yes, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go so that we see. The, the, the elder son had what? He had music. Say music. Music. Not music. 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 The word music here, it means rhythms. They were tearing the ground with their feet. So, to an extent that they are far, but they were hearing the dance. Let's go there so that you understand why we are in the month of June. It was meet that we should make merry eh? and be glad. For this was thy brother was dead. Thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found so the reason for dancing is because missing things will be recovered yeah. i say missing things will be recovered yeah. turn your bible to book of isaiah 29 verse 10. uh-huh well been urged to sleep uh-huh he has shut your eyes uh-huh the prophet and covered your heads uh -huh. to see him 
He has covered your head, the seer. My head has a covering. If you are a seer, you have the spiritual blankets over you. But the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. A spirit of a deep sleep. And he has closed your eyes. Okay, how can I be preaching there? And I turn there and I say, what is Amara? Am Amarachi. I am preaching. I am still hearing. I, I was still talking to you. I am still preaching.